Hello, hello, hello. So I was unhappy with my previous starts at the tutorial for Skyrim and Fallout 4. So I want to do a couple of quick little tutorials, okay? This first one here is going to be for Skyrim, and then I'm going to turn around and do the same thing for Fallout 4. In your Xbox console, when you hit the big X button, and it brings up this menu here on the left, you come down to Skyrim Special Edition, and you hit your Start button. Now you'll notice, let me back out of that, they show it as Game Options, but that little dash is, that's your Start button. It's the, the smaller button on the right, above the right thumbstick, okay? I'm sure most of you know that already, but just in case. Just in case there's somebody really new. Now what you can do to manage Skyrim, you know, the game, and it says and add-ons, so that's really not a problem with Skyrim Special Edition. But you just click on that, highlight that, and hit your A button. And it's going to bring you here, and it's going to show you the game is installed. It's installed on internal storage. Um, let's see, there's no updates. There's some save data. There's two items. Now I'm going to show you what these are. What you do is you highlight these. Again, hit your A button. Now, this shows, of course, I'm on the Edible Toasters machine, right? So this is her saved games. Not, not a lot of saved games, but we have some saved games. Uh, and then we have reserved space. Now this is your mod space. This five gigabytes is your mod space. If you need or want to make sure that your mod space is clear, and this does clear out your uh, Creation Club items as well, okay? This gives you a totally fresh, brand new start, okay? What you do is you just come down here to Reserve Space, click A, and it says, oh, you want to clear that? And make sure that's what you really want to do. But if you do, just highlight Clear Reserve Space and hit A. Now, I'm not going to do that, because <laughs> I really don't want to. I thought about it, and I might clear this later, but right now I'm just doing this for a tutorial. Now, that would clear that space. Now, that would get rid of all your mods and your Creation Club stuff, okay? Now, it will not get rid of your saved games. Your saved games are here. You do not need to get rid of your saved games. However, I will tell you what I do. Periodically, I clean up a lot of my saved games. I only keep my vanilla saved game that sometimes I base a character off of when you see me do like Elric and he's level 69. That's because I'm basing him off of that vanilla character that I played through the special edition with originally. Okay, But you can eliminate that. See? It says, oh, you want to delete this? You can delete it from your console. There'll still be some in cloud storage, but I don't know how much or how good that is. So I don't recommend doing this. Unless you're serious, you can delete from everywhere, which means it'll be gone from your console and from your cloud storage. Again, I don't recommend doing that. But if you're really, really sure, go ahead. I find it easier just to delete saved games from the game itself when I need to. All right. So that is Skyrim Special Edition and how to clear your mod space and your game space if you're really, really sure you want to do it that way. Now, the good thing about clearing your reserve space, though, I will say this. If you're having trouble with your space, um, once you clear that, and you, the first time you go back into Skyrim, it's going to reinitialize and create that 5 gigabyte space for you again. And it'll be totally empty, and you'll be able to fill it back up. Okay, so there is a reason for doing that. Sometimes your space, as I have another video out that talks about reserve, reserve space and how that works, but uh, sometimes it gets uh, kind of clogged up and, and broken up and you can't use it all. And uh, sometimes, occasionally with Skyrim, not so much with Fallout 4, but with Skyrim, occasionally a mod uh, will just not release the space. Even though you delete it, the mod manager does not totally free up the space for some reason. I don't know why. There's a number of different reasons that could happen, but it doesn't really matter. The fact is, it does happen to us occasionally. Okay. All right. So that's it. I just wanted to cover this real quickly and make this just its own small little video. So I want to thank you for listening. I hope this is helpful to you. Have a wonderful day, and I will catch you later. Dova can. <laughs> Dova poop is more like it. This has been an How That Smarts production.